Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And today we will talk about uh, semester first assignment for the subject of marketing management. Uh, this is for April 2023 cycle. So don't get confused with our June cycle because uh, uh, many students who have enrolled recently, maybe in the month of January and February, they got confused that uh, why we get the assignment so early and uh, we can see the due date is maybe in the month of March. Uh, so don't get confused. This is not for you. This is for the students who have enrolled in the month of maybe June, July, August, September last year. 2022 and who have already given their first semester uh, but unfortunately due to some of the other reasons some of the other reasons uh, they might not be able to clear any of the subject marketing management maybe in this case so if you have not cleared uh, your assignment or exam so overall basically you have not cleared that particular subject in that case uh, uh, you will able to see these uh, assignments into your uh, assignment sections on your NMIMS portal so uh, uh, just just be clear with the two cycles June and December the regular cycles and the April and September are the backlog cycles so marketing management is a very theoretical subject uh, very easy uh, more or less uh, you need to relate it with your real life uh, that would be very easy if you relate it and just try to think from the uh, real life perspective uh, as like other assignments, we are having three questions uh, first, second, third, and third pages of 10 marks, uh, and uh, the word count is 1000 thousand words. In third question, you need to write 500 words and 500 words plus minus 10 percent is acceptable. So you can stretch up to 1100 words and uh, 550 words for third questions. Uh, two important concepts uh, keep in your mind one is the copy case, so don't share your assignments with anyone and the second thing is uh, plagiarism so if you are writing the content maybe from NMIMS books or Google or from anywhere else even from the presentations uh, even from uh, some case studies just try to formulate the stuff in your own words uh, reframe the sentences write it down in your own words otherwise you will fall into plagiarism and you will get the copy case right uh, you will get zero marks so uh, if the, because this is your second attempt for sure right uh, like for a few cases like it might be the first attempt where they have not submitted the assignment but for uh, the cases where you get the copy case in the previous assignments so this is your second attempt so make sure you will clear it in this attempt Otherwise, you need to pay a fees of around 600 bucks while submitting it for the third time, right? Now, let's see about this uh, assignment. So, if you see, we are having the three questions, first, second, third A and third B. And uh, this is for April cycle. It's April 2023 cycle. Let's see about the first question. Now, we can see what is the question about. We see what the content to be written, what page number should be referred. So that we can easily uh, crack the question uh, we need to understand what needs to be written in the question and you can score the maximum marks so talking about the first question mr james is planning to buy a new house in a good locality he has lived all his life on rent and this is the first time he's buying a new house he has two kids ellen and sia his wife is a homemaker mr james has a lot of friends in the current society but it doesn't have a garden safety devices or security James has made personal progress, uh, professional progress, so that the budget is not a constraint. According to you, what are the various factors that influence the James in buying a house? You can make certain assumptions, right? So it's a very common uh, thought process. You can even uh, relate it to uh, those uh, who are married and who are having kids uh, and who are planning to buy a new house. It's simple. Uh, you are thinking to buy a new house and being you are having kids, so you need to think from the family perspective, the first thing. In terms of family perspective, you think that, okay, I get some uh, some uh, playing area for my kids. I need a proper safety or security being my wife is a housewife and uh, maybe I'm a working professional. I need to travel here and there maximum time. So it's important for me that uh, safety is the primary concern for me to get a society over there. Uh, next thing is uh, I'm looking for some society. Uh, it's not like uh, it's in the outskirts of any city. I'm definitely looking for some society where even I can also commute and I can also ha have some friends. Even my wife will also make some new friends. That is a uh, important factor. So these are the certain factors while we think of buying a new house. Money is again one concern, but in the question is clearly mentioned that he has made a good progress and 
money is not a constraint right so like in india we normally thought okay yeah, this is coming in one cr this is 1.5 cr 2 cr 3 cr so money is one of the important constraint but then question is clearly mentioned that money is not a constraint in this case right a uh, few constraint we already discussed now let's see uh, what's uh, need to be referred from the book to formulate it more towards the marketing uh, type of concept and uh, uh, to relate more words to it so page number 71 discuss about the various factors influencing consumer buying behavior so going to the page number 71 so if we talk about the certain characteristics this is a very generic thing this is not relatable to your house uh, this is a common uh, factors which relates while you are going to buy any new thing it might be an electronic product it might be your mobile it might be your uh, uh, even uh, laptop uh, might be your household items uh, uh, might be your car might be your house anything right so this is a very generic story you need to relate it towards the case study which is to mention like buying a new house right if we talk about uh, the certain characteristics so if we if you see this diagram firstly try to understand this uh, this particular diagram what are the various factors what is cultural second is social third one is a personal factor fourth one is a psychological and last one is definitely the buyer so these are the four factors right so if we talk about the cultural factors so uh, we talk about the culture in culture we are having culture sub culture and the social class so culture is like uh, uh, in which culture in which society you want to live like suppose uh, uh, if uh, if you are from maybe from north india if you are from punjab then you will think that okay i will get a society where so many punjabis are there like if suppose you are from gujarat you will think yeah uh, if i get some society where gujaratis are there it will be definitely it and uh, india is a very uh, varied country and you will find a number of states so uh, it's pretty much open that uh, you can get societies where we have the mixed culture but definitely uh, we get some comfort zone while we get uh, someone from our state a little bit biasness so uh, culture is one of the important factor culture subculture and definitely the social class so you can relate it with your society uh, with buying a new house so you, it's it's relatable now next is about the social factors social factor is like as we discussed earlier we are having the small group social network family social role status uh, uh, like if you if you are belong to a very upper class then you will think okay uh, i am owning a mercedes bmw then you will think for a society where other people are also having the similar kind of stuff uh, if you are a middle class then you will think okay i will go to some society where middle class people stay so uh, it's it's a very common phenomena it's just our thought process so based on that the social factors comes into the picture you can relate it now moving on to our like family we have already discussed uh, we have already discussed about the roles and status uh, then next one is about the personal factors in personal factors we require like the occupation age stage economic situation lifestyle personality and self concept occupation definitely uh, you will think that okay like doctors prefer society where all the doctors stay engineers prefer society where engineers stay uh, and occupation is again one of the important factor like you will think that okay it will be easy for me if i talk about some uh, uh, staying like if i talk about some home buying a house and i will think that okay uh, i would prefer that uh, uh, i need not to commute 50 to 60 kilometers every day to go to my office so i will prefer a uh, society which is near to my office age and state uh, you will think okay i will get uh, my a same age group of people nearby so that it will be easy for me to familiarize with them and uh, to just connect with them again economic situation lifestyle personality these all are relatable you can just relate it with your uh, with your thought process right so this is all which last but not the least about the psychological factors like the motivation perception learning beliefs and attitudes uh, some people will thought that you will get some motivation you will never like to live in a society where you will have a lot of negativity right you will always think that okay i will get some motivation from these uh, so motivation is again an important factor perception some people are having a perception that okay like a high rise societies are good to stay or you can get a proper society instead of builder floors so, so every person has a different perception psychological factors for choosing their house even sometimes for house is one of the important assumption is uh, uh, the uh, that horoscope like uh, uh, you can say vastu shastra 
factor right so vasco is again one of the important factor definitely is not mentioned in the book because uh, uh, that's a very generic thing of buying a new product but if you talk about some house many people are having uh, uh, their thought of uh, uh, of this vasco charge and they prefer that it should be up to uh, relatable to the vasco right so beliefs and attitudes are also one of them so these are the certain factors while buying a new house uh, it's better to just write each word uh, just uh, uh, make sure just write it a generic statement post that just related with buying a new house that's uh, that's the uh, crux of writing the complete uh, first answer i think it's pretty much clear moving to the second question it's again a little bit relatable to the first question explain the buyer decision process that you think jm will have to purchase a, his dream house right so it's a complete process starting from uh, the stage 1 to stage 5 i think there are five stages let's see page number 88 going to the page number 88 so if you see page number 88 is a buying uh, decision process which starts with the five factor uh, five stages need recognition information search evaluation of alternatives purchase decision and post purchase behavior right so starting with the very first one is the need recognition firstly he need to understand whether he needs to buy a house or not because it's clearly mentioned in the question that for his lifetime he uh, was uh, living in a rental house right so why there is a need of buying a proper house maybe uh, if he get the similar facilities amenities in some other house uh, why what he just uh, get some house on rent why should he why he needs to buy a house on his own so this is one of the important factor need recognition he need to think uh, and uh, he, he needs to recognize his need why why is going to buy that particular item it's it's a generic uh, mention in the uh, book but you need to relate it with your uh, buying a dream house then next is information search information search is like you need to search uh, maybe google you need to physically visit uh, you need to talk to your word of your uh, friends uh, relatives colleagues um, it's simply a word of mouth sometimes uh, you need to see the certain advertisements you need to talk to certain brokers in this case uh, and uh, you need to collect the information and uh, just uh, collate them and see the differences and definitely you need to think that okay uh, these are your needs uh, these are your first priorities or the second priorities right so that is one thing then the next one is evaluation of alternatives uh, you need to think of all the alternatives that okay this is the better than the previous one this is better than the other one it's simply the opportunity cost which you call it right then last uh, is about the purchasing you are you are finally going to purchase that particular thing uh, with the two uh, with the two factors one is intention and second is a purchase decision right like it's uh, what your intent and what your decision to go and buy the particular new house and lastly comes the post purchase behavior like in this case for after you have purchased whether you have satisfied with your decision or not uh, whether you are satisfied with the product or not in this case there is no alternative like it's not like you have uh, if you have made some wrong judgment and you will just sell it out and buy a new house it's not in this case but yes if i talk about some day to day items or uh, uh, small items you can easily say okay next time i won't buy this thing or uh, i will think more about this so post purchase behavior is a little bit low in this case but yes you need to mention this being this is a part of uh, buying decision process so i think second question is pretty much clear moving to the third question uh, third is having two parts third a and third b so third a is mr james dot as ci is being pre uh, pressurizing his father to buy alexa from amazon alexa is capable of voice interaction music playback making to do lists uh, setting alarms uh, streaming podcasts playing audio books uh, providing weather traffic sports and other real time information such as news alexa can also control the several smart devices uh, using itself as a home, home automation system explain the adoption process that mr james will go through uh, who has no idea about the alexa so this is about the complete adoption process uh, uh, mr james thought as same there is a age difference uh, that's a different uh, 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 there is different age group or you can say uh, both are belonging to different generations so a new generation can easily adopt these things but for older generation it's tough to understand all this stuff so we need to discuss about the adoption process so we need to talk about adoption process and explain the five phases of adoption process i think we are already on page number 91 the very first one is we need to define that okay what is the adoption process it's simply the mental process where the individual the 
important understanding from the first learning about uh, that new product till the final uh, adoption of a new product right suppose if i give you a new phone a brand new phone definitely for our age group it's very easy to understand but if we talk about the parents and grandparents uh, if we if they are seeing it the phone for the very first time they think what is this they just think okay uh, firstly you just uh, tell them okay firstly you need to make calls then messages uh, then setting alarms uh, then uh, checking weather then checking google then uh, walking through internet uh, 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 how to check the facebook uh, how to check uh, whatsapp and so many other things right so starting with the basics till the adoption process come uh, till the final uh, adoption comes under the uh, complete adoption process so uh, it includes the five phases the very first one is awareness second is interest third one is evaluation fourth one is trial and the fifth one is adoption so awareness is uh, definitely it's a new product to the consumer or you can say in this case mr james needs to be aware uh, of that product okay uh, in the question is clearly mentioned that alexa do these kind of things so he is aware of this thing but uh, he is not having the information about this right so it's about the awareness then second is interest it's simply uh, mr james uh, uh, just uh, research on this and uh, develop some interest so that he will be able to access that product then next is evaluation right uh, then he he validates whether it's being needed for my day to day users or not okay being i am uh, i am using normal clock or i am having the to do list on my pen of paper whether I need to switch it to Alexa or it's not being required. So it's about a evaluation. Then trial. So trial is uh, you are just testing it and seeing that whether it's feasible for me or not. Uh, Mr. Seems it's uh, uh, and, uh, it good in a trial version, then definitely he can adopt it in the last phase. And the last one is adoption where he can just uh, make a regular use of the product as we do in our day-to-day -day life. So this is about the third A part. Then the third way is not relatable to this. Uh, take any product category of your choice and explain the various product positioning strategies used by all the competitors in the selected category. So it's a straightforward product positioning strategies. Page number 147 and 140, 150. Going to page number 147. Uh, it's something about uh, the choosing a, a positioning strategy. You can choose any item. Maybe you can use a day-to-day -day item. Uh, or maybe use any uh, automobile. Why I say automobile? Automobile is quite easy and you will get a lot more stuff on the Google, right? So maybe you can use any of the big brands like PNG, uh, PNG, Hindustan Unilever. You can take any uh, FMCG product or you can use any automobile or maybe you can just choose any mobile like Nokia, Samsung or maybe you can uh, choose uh, uh, any anything means maybe uh, you can relate it with your day-to-day -day life like suppose you are uh, uh, working into some uh, clothes manufacturing company you can relate it with that or whatever feels interest into you then you can choose um, any one product of your uh, choice in the third week question right so choosing uh, a differentiation and positioning strategy right so firstly it's a genetic thing like uh, what are the various steps like identifying a set of, of competitive advantages to build a position, choosing the right advantages and selecting the overall positioning strategy. It's simply, you will start with the thinking and discussing in a market, like what are the different uh, competitive advantages and what you can do to build a market uh, positioning. And after that, you choose out of multiple. And lastly, you are selecting an overall positioning strategy. So these are the three steps. You can write two, three liners to it. That's totally fine. But the last part is important where you need to specify all the different strategies going to page number 150. It's the overall positioning strategy where you are positioning your brand uh, in the market based on the certain factors like more or less. Uh, you can say more for the same, same for the less, less for some less, more for less. I think these are the one. So if we talk about each as the name suggests, it's easily relatable. More for more is simply you are upgrading your product and you are increasing the price right simple uh, back providing more facilities uh, more quality improvements uh, more features more enhancements and increasing the cost because definitely it's an up and up right this is for more for more. the second is more for the same right so you are providing more facilities but you see that uh, your competitor is providing it at the at at same price so you are also keeping the same price you are giving more features but at the same price. Then the next is same for less. 
you are providing the same features now you are not compromising uh, with the features you are just saying okay i will provide you the same features but i am just decreasing the price right in one case you just improve your quality in this case you are just keeping the same quality but decreasing the price then let the next is less for some less for much less where you will just decrease a little bit uh, decrease the quality and definitely you are uh, uh, providing less cost to it right so in this case you are doing two things one is degrading the quality and the second one is you are providing it at a cheaper price right so it's simply that it can be affordable many a times the things may happen that uh, people can't afford like if i talk about some car uh, many people can't afford a high end uh, high end uh, car so what they do they will just go for a cheaper quality uh, cars or maybe it's for product also because every person now thinks that we will get a product at a cheaper price so just uh, with a little low quality product you are manageable with the cost and last is more for less it's the best situation where you are providing more features for the less right you are just uh, providing uh, more and more and more things with with a uh, less uh, at a very cheaper prices so these are the different strategies which you can easily mention in this third b question i think we have already covered all the three questions uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, the questions are quite relatable to you and if you have any doubts or facing any issue regarding this subject or maybe any other subject of first semester or maybe any other semesters you can feel free to just connect to me at ngsc.mba.gmail.com and if you like this video do like do subscribe and stay connected for further videos thank you so much